Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. This is very risky right now. I have my camera balancing on two supplement bottles stacked on top of each other and it's probably not the safest, most secure situation right now. But I like to live life on the edge. What can I say? So hi, happy Wednesday. This week is flying by it's so weird i just can't wrap my mind around the fact that it's wednesday and that's why i'm starting this vlog so late in the week is because i just feel like my week is just getting started i don't know like where did the last two days go i have no idea but hi here we are i just took benny out for a walk around my apartment and there's an area in the back that's like a little bit wooded and uh, i saw a big ass snake that just like slithering on by and it was closer to me than I felt comfortable with so as soon as I saw that I was like oh goodbye we gotta go I've heard that there's a lot of different snakes down here but that was my first time seeing one in person I don't even know what kind it was I feel like I'm gonna be discovering a lot of interesting things now that we're getting close to summer as far as like bugs and just different critters not excited about it but it is what it is. I also just got my Nespresso order. So I'm going to refill my glass jar over here because as you can see, I was completely out. I had my last pod this morning and then this got delivered at my door and it was just perfect timing. So this is my favorite kind. I have the Virtuo Next machine. I mostly just got a bunch of that kind. I also got the decaf version of that one because sometimes I like to have a cup of coffee later in the day and I'm trying to be good and cut back on my caffeine consumption. And then I also got the carafe pour over style um, one sleeve of these. Beautiful. So today I have a nail appointment, which I'm very excited about because I love this color, but they are getting so grown out. I think I'm gonna cut them down a little bit and go with a rounder shape like I normally do. I was trying like the shorter square look for a while and it was cute, but it's just the oval shape is just, it's just more me. I just feel like it makes my fingers look like longer and slimmer and then i want to stop at target because i was watching alexandra rodriguez this morning her most recent vlog and she went to target in that vlog and she got the cutest little wrap skirt and i really want to go and see if they have it at my target and i also need some more candles for my apartment because i burned through all the ones that i had and it's been a while since i've like just done a little poking around in Target. It's like very therapeutic, you know? And then Benny has a vet appointment later this afternoon. He's just due for his like yearly shots. Yeah, that's the plan. It's a really, really beautiful day. It's so hot and sunny out. And I really would love to spend time outside and go for a walk. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze that in at some point. I also just remembered that I went to Pliables yesterday and I got this ginger bomb and I wanted to have it this morning before I eat any food. So cheers to our health and wellness. Oh. Yes, this one is good. This is actually spicy. I feel like the last few times I've gotten ginger shots from different places, they just don't have any kick or spice to them. I'm like, what the hell? I want to feel the burn. I really have been feeling good the last few weeks. I think like moving down here, which if you didn't know, if you're new, I moved from Pennsylvania to North Carolina at the beginning of December completely by myself just like wanted to get a fresh start didn't know anybody and it's been such a like exciting fun time in my life but at the same time it's been taking a toll on my mental health and i've been all over the place like my anxiety has never been higher <laughs> ever in my life and it's just been affecting like my overall health too because when your mental state isn't in the best place 
it's hard to like stick to a healthy exercise routine and a good like eating regimen and stuff so I just haven't been like taking care of my body the way that I would like to and the way that I should so now though like these last few weeks I've just been feeling so much better and so much more at peace I think I'm just like getting more settled here you know like I've been here for four months now and I think I'm starting to I don't know just like settle and I've been getting back into a good healthy routine and taking time to like focus on what I'm eating and making sure that I'm eating all of the meals that I need to have throughout the day and not under eating and also trying to not overeat you know just just being healthy and I just want to like look and feel my best so starting the vlog off with a ginger shot home I feel like I have been out all day and it was like just non-stop because I went and got my nails done which by the way how cute I was hoping to do like a mango orange type of color but they didn't have anything that was like exactly what I was looking for so I went with this kind of like mustard yellow and I went back to my usual shape I love it this length and shape is just like Perfect for this shape. I just say that I want something in between almond and oval. I didn't even show her pictures or anything That's all I said and she got it perfect. So that's how I would describe this shape if you're looking to get something similar um, So yeah, I got my nails done and then I went over to Target and I was able to find that skirt as you saw which I'm so excited about um, It's from a new day at Target. I just love that it has like this part that wraps in the front and I just feel like it's so flattering. It's stretchy and it kind of like, it reminds me of a sarong and I feel like you could wear it as a bathing suit cover up or wear it out. I mean, it's like, I feel like it's very versatile, but I have this cute little um, white crop top that I think will just look so beautiful with this. And then this is the candle I ended up getting, Daydream cactus and rose um and this is from the project 62 line I love anything rose scented and like the packaging i just love how like clean and simple so yeah that's all i got at target and then after that i had to race all the way back because i didn't think this through at all i went down to target and then the vet is like kind of over in that same side of town so i had to come all the way back to my apartment to get benny and then go all the way back and there was a lot of traffic so it's just been like non-stop literally drove here ran upstairs got him ran back down went to the vet but he is all vaccinated up now right baby he was just due for you know all of his yearly shots he needed like his rabies and all that kind of stuff and they cut his nails while we were there so that's nice what a handsome boy Let's show everybody your nails wow we both got our nails done today huh he uh did pretty well at the vet but he was pretty scared when we first got there and he tried to jump up on me and just cut my leg open that was bleeding for quite a while so i'm gonna clean that and then put a band-aid on it and make some dinner because it's almost six o'clock now and i'm starting to get kind of hungry i think i'm going to make some ground turkey and then i have some shaved brussels sprouts and i think i'm just gonna mix that all up oh i also have spinach so i can throw that in there too and i'm just gonna make like a bowl 
Just throw all that stuff in a pan. Actually, the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to put in the air fryer. Get them nice and crispy. And then the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to toss in a pan and then have it over rice. And going to steam some broccoli and have that on the side. And that'll be good because then I'll make like a whole pan of it. And I'll have lots of leftovers. I'll have like lunch and dinner for tomorrow and I can just heat it up and it'll be super easy. Dinner is made. And with my dinner, I'm going to make myself a little collagen fiber drink. And this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Bellway. Thank you so much to them for working with me. I'm so excited. If you've never heard of Bellway before, they're an organic, all natural, keto, paleo friendly, and gluten free fiber supplement. It's made with organic psyllium husk, bovine collagen, hyaluronic acid, and real fruit and it contains non-GMO ingredients and zero sugar. So this is their super fiber plus collagen dietary supplement, and I have it in the watermelon flavor. Love watermelon flavored everything. You just take a scoop of this and add it to at least eight ounces of water. Mix it in really well. And you can add this to whatever drink you want, water, smoothie and i love the taste of this it doesn't have like a strong artificial taste or anything like that it kind of reminds me of like a starbucks refresher kind of thing i take this one to two times a day collagen is really good for your hair skin and nails it helps with skin elasticity and keeping your hair and nails super strong and fiber is really good for keeping your gut nice and healthy keeping everything you know regular it helps with bloating and it helps to keep you full longer so it helps if you have a problem with overeating so if you're interested in trying bellway beauty i will have a link in the description and you can use my code samvay20 to get 20 percent off your order i highly recommend the watermelon flavor like i said it tastes really good so yeah check out that link in my description use my code save yourself some money and thank you so much bellway for sponsoring this portion of the vlog i'm gonna go finish my drink while i have my dinner and i'm going to watch the finale of the ultimatum on netflix i'm so excited last saturday i stayed home the entire day and all i did was binge watch that show and i've been waiting for today for the finale to get released and i'm so excited to watch it like all day it's all i've been thinking about what do you guys think comment down below and let me know if you watch that show and who do you like on there who can you not stand i absolutely hate colby i cannot stand him you're here because someone in your relationship has issued an ultimatum.
Hello, good afternoon, happy Easter Sunday. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days. I was just like out and about and getting work done and then yesterday I had a fully lazy day, barely got up off of the couch, like literally just laid around. I actually started watching a show on Amazon Prime called Upload and I binged the entire first season of that yesterday and that's literally all I did. Um, it was great, but today I was like I gotta be productive. I need to do my Sunday cleaning I don't feel guilty having a lazy day I feel like they're necessary every once in a while, but when I can see that the space around me is Messy not clean and I know that there's things I need to do. It just feels so much more satisfying to do what you have to do first and then just relax in a nice clean space knowing you have nothing that you need to do. I also have just been feeling gross, like my hair needs to be washed. So I figured, let me clean because I know I'm gonna get all sweaty and disgusting from that anyway. The only thing that I am still working on is laundry, but everything else is done. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. Oh, I need to get a new bath mat. I love this bath mat. It is so plush. It's by Ugg. I got it at Kohl's. His vitals are dropping. We're losing him. We really want to upload. We could be together. I am just at a complete loss for words. I took my shower. I was watching my show. And then I decided... I was gonna start making dinner. I put a pot on the stove to boil. I was gonna make some pasta. I literally added the pasta to the pot, stepped away to go put the pasta back in the cabinet, and then I just heard a loud pop. And I looked over, and the pot literally just cracked. Like, it just shattered on the freaking burner. So, uh, here it is. This was the pot I was using. So yeah. Um, some of the pasta was sitting right on the burner so it was just burning and I was so scared it was gonna light on fire and my apartment smelled like just burning pasta. It was awful. I opened the door to the balcony. I turned the vent on above the stove to suck the air out and it's finally smelling better in here now and I was waiting for everything to cool down so I could clean this all up. But yeah, this is all, there's just water all over the place, all like down inside the burner. So I have to lift this up and like clean all inside there. Fun stuff. So needless to say, I just got so frustrated and I gave up and I door dashed. I decided to get some soup from Carabas, that just sounds really good. And they had a coupon, so perfect. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I'll show you the food when it gets here. Food just got here, so excited. So I got the Sicilian chicken noodle soup from Carabas. it is so freaking good. This looks like a ridiculous amount. I actually ordered two bowls, but uh, I guess I didn't have any large sized bowls so they gave me four cups it just didn't seem worth it to only order one bowl i'll just have leftovers um but this is so good it's like my favorite soup mm, tons of vegetables it's like a little bit spicy it's so good and then they always give you a side of bread with some olive oil and herbs i'm gonna eat my dinner and continue watching this show highly recommend it's called Upload. It's on Amazon Prime. I'll see you guys in the morning. It felt so good waking up this morning to a clean apartment and it's rainy and gloomy outside and I don't know, it just feels like so cozy in here. I look a little crazy. I washed my hair yesterday and then I didn't, <laughs> like, wow. Um, I didn't put anything in it. I literally just let it air dry. And I was kind of contemplating like re-wetting it and putting product in it or maybe putting some heat on it or something. But honestly, 
I feel like I've been doing a lot with my hair recently because I went and I got it lightened again. When was that? A couple weeks ago. Um, and since I got it done, I have just been like wearing it smooth and putting heat on it so i'm just gonna leave it be let it chill give it a break so it looks a little bit crazy it is monday i have a couple things to do today i have some stuff that i want to order from amazon because i need more hangers after i did all that laundry yesterday i realized oh i don't have enough hangers for all of the clothes that i own anymore and then i want to get a screen like a magnetic screen door that I can put outside of my balcony door so that way in the summer months I like to leave my balcony door open a lot just to like get some fresh air and that way Benny can go like in and out as he pleases but I know the bugs are gonna be pretty bad soon so I ordered one already actually weeks ago and I measured and I thought that I had ordered the right size but apparently not it was way too small so I sent that back I need to order a new one in a bigger size um, and then I also wanted to order a lash lift kit I could look for a place here and go to somebody for that but it's just kind of like an expense that I don't feel is worth it and I am actually certified it to do them I used to do them on clients back in the day I used to do lash extensions and lift and tints so once that gets in I will definitely share the process in a vlog so stay tuned and then I need to go grocery shopping later because my fridge is super empty I think all I have in there is some broccoli and then I'm recording a new episode for my podcast later tonight with my friend and then I need to edit this vlog and post it so that's what we got on the agenda for today first things first I am gonna place this Amazon order velvet hangers a 30 pack I think should be good then lash lift kit I have tinting stuff already, so I don't need that. So I just need the stuff to actually do the lift. Okay, I think I'm going to get this one because it has the most reviews and the best. Sounds good. And then I'm going to go measure this door just to make sure that I'm getting the right size this time. Thirty-eight. Eighty-two by thirty-eight. Oh, oh yeah. Carried all that up in one trip. So I went to Walmart. But I also needed to get a couple non-food things um and i'm gonna be completely honest i know at the beginning of this vlog i said that i've been you know trying to be really healthy i did a ginger shot and i bought a lot of junk food purposefully later this week one of my really good friends is coming to visit me and i just wanted to like fully stock up my kitchen and I don't know like when you're on vacation and you're like with your friends and stuff you know like you want to just indulge and enjoy so i thought let me get like some easy snack things so i know that a lot of the stuff that i got is not healthy i don't need to hear about it in the comments it's not stuff that i normally eat on a regular basis just putting that disclaimer out there <laughs> um so i got a whole bunch of different pastas just to like restock because I am running very low and I don't really eat pasta very often but I do like to keep some back stock of it in the kitchen just in case and then I also got some pasta sauce I got eggs I was completely out and then I got some frozen pizzas four cheese and then a garden veggie thin crust which like, you know, if you're gonna have a frozen pizza, at least this is like sort of a healthier option. I also got some chicken nuggets. 
And then I got some Golden Crispy Crowns. Ugh, sounds so good. And then I got turkey bacon. I did get some healthy things. I got bananas, a bottle of Pinot. I've never tried this before. This is the Winemakers Selection brand. Oh, then I saw this and I kind of spontaneously decided to get it. It says that it keeps cold drinks cold for 24 hours and hot drinks hot for 12 hours and has a leak proof lid. I like that it has this handle and like an easy drinking spout. I have been going to the beach a lot and going on hikes and walks and all of the water bottles and thermoses that I have are like all around this size, which in comparison, and I will literally finish the entire thing before I'm even like halfway finished with my hike usually. So I wanted something bigger and I like that it has this handle and the color is so pretty. I also needed some more tampons. I got some Tostito scoops because I have some salsa and bean dip still left in my fridge. Got a big thing of strawberries. And then I got some frozen shrimp, Italian sausage, ground turkey, and some cinnamon rolls. Oh, and I almost completely missed this thing too. This was only 15 bucks. How amazing. It holds two gallons. And I wanted to get this with summer coming up. I plan on having some beach days with my friends. This way we can just fill this up with some drinks. Or if we ever do like a barbecue or something like that. I just plan on having a lot of like outdoor get-togethers with my friends. Anyway, I'm going to make myself something to eat. I'm gonna be FaceTiming with my friends so that we can record our podcast in about an hour or so. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'm gonna start a new one. Like I said, my friend is coming later this week and I'm planning on vlogging a ton with her. She is not camera shy at all whatsoever. So I think it'll be really, really fun. So stay tuned for the next vlog. I'll see you really soon. Bye.